Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. And today I have this Gigabyte Creator motherboard, the model X570S AeroG, compatible with AMD socket AM4 Ryzen. Well, let's open to see what we have on the box and find out more about this motherboard. And of course inside we're gonna find out the manual. Okay, CD drives and utilities from Gigabyte. Accessories. All that included. Wow, <laughs> looks great. I like this white. It is an AMD X570 Creators motherboard with a unique Vision Link I.O. design, effective thermal solution, Wi-Fi 6 and Intel 2.5 GB LAN, PCI Express 4x16 slots, Quad NVMe PCI Express 4 with 4 M2 connectors, with a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C, with an ATX form factor 30.5 cm by 24.4 cm, chipset AMD X570 with a CPU M4 socket here, 4 DDR4 DIMM socket supporting up to 128GB with a dual channel memory architecture supports up to DDR4 memory modules 5500MHz overclock it expansion slots PCI Express with integrated the first in the CPU and the other two integrated in the chipset and it has onboard integrated graphic processor supporting USB Type-C and DisplayPort video output and a maximum resolution 4K 60Hz. Large curved aluminum heatsink to improve heat dissipation and ensures stability during creative work. Quad PCI Express M2, one here, another two here and one here. The first integrated in the CPU and the other three integrated in the chipset and enjoy 7 times faster data transferring experience compared to the 2.4 SATA solid state drivers. And of course the sound it is amazing with a DTS-X Ultra. Here we have 6 SATA 6GB connectors integrated in the chipset. System fan headers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 total. One here it is for the water pump fan and another here for the water pump fan. 24 pin ATX main power connector. Remove before plugging in, in the power, just pull that, remove from the heatsink this plastic. And here we have 8 pin ATX 12 volt for power connector and another 4 pin here. I can say the heatsink, this grey heatsink with the white around, it fits perfect. Matte black, I like that. And here we have another heatsink, white. The old construction, it gives you the idea that it is a premium product. Let's see more connections. We have an RGB LED light connection here, and here, and here for the CPU. I like that. TBM connection, COM, front USB 2, front USB 1, front uh, U32. Here we have uh, a front U32C. Q flash button, LED indicator. Let's check and add the box what accessories we have. Four SATA cables. Two thermistor cables. One RGB LED strip extension cable. Nice. One noise detection cable, I like that. It detects the noise of the fan and then you can adjust uh, the speed of the fan. Maybe you want a lower noise, more noise, it is your choice. 
one antenna. I will connect to that and with the connections goes here at the back. One G connector and we have uh, these uh, four M2 screws. Nice, I like it. So many accessories. <laughs> now let's take a look and the connections here. Five audio jacks, mic in, line out, line in, rear, sender sub, optical out connector, four USB 3.2 Gen Type A ports on red color, one LAN 2.5 gigabit port, one Type C port with USB 3.2 Gen support, another Type C port with USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 support, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports in blue colors and for BIOS, one HDMI port, one in display port, two SMA antenna connectors for the Wi-Fi and another two USB 2 ports. That was all. I like and the design at the back, so many connections. I like that it has two USB-C and of course the 2.5 gigabit uh, LAN port. Nice. Well, let's connect it to my case and see how it looks. It looks great on my PC case. It takes no more than five minutes to install. You need eight screws included on the box with a motherboard. Already I have installed and the CPU and the RAMs. You can check in these two videos down below the description or after the end of this video right in the corner. Installing the M2 drive, just remove the heatsink, thermal pad pre-install it, install the M2 drive, one screw you need, and then the screw for the heatsink. I have installed the one thermistor cable near the battery here and the other here near the fan headers. And another one noise detection cable, this uh, red and black. After finishing the setup and see how it works my PC with a noise fan and the temperature then maybe I will reinstall in another position this uh, thermistor cable and the noise detection cable. And at the back you can connect the Wi-Fi antenna, two connections. So easy. Magnetic mount, very easy. It has magnet at the base and it looks great. I like the shape. Yeah, why not? You can have it wherever you want.